They came from all over the country. Teachers from across Argentina protested in the capital, calling for wage increases. Alicia Monzón came from Corrientes in northern Argentina. The minimum wage is not enough. It's under the poverty line. We need to make sure that teachers all around the country receive decent salaries. That's why we came here. Argentina went through a confidence crisis that led to the devaluation of the currency in the past month. Since taking office, the government of Mauricio Macri has been trying to reduce the inflation rate, which is one of the highest in the world. But the recent devaluation of the peso has already had an impact on prices here. And that's why teachers and workers in general have been demanding salary increases to make ends meet. For the president, the biggest problem is the deficit. Macri has been trying a gradual approach to normalize the economy after years of protectionist measures implemented by the previous administration. Argentina spends more than it earns. We cannot continue like this. We all have to sit down and discuss the issue with honesty. We need to figure out how we are going to spend less. But the situation has been dire in Argentina, with a struggling economy and thousands of people taking to the streets almost every day. Since the new administration took over, the basic premise was that they needed to prioritize local political consensus and that required funding our deficit with foreign indebtedness. So long as financial markets were willing to go with it, we did just fine. But over the last month and a half, essentially, uh, financial markets turned their back on us. Therefore, the administration can either implement a very sharp adjustment as opposed to doing that, the administration has decided to go to the IMF for help. The IMF brings back memories here of past crises, and that's why the government faces strong opposition. In Congress and on the streets, where workers vow to come back each time they feel their rights are under threat. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.